This is the simplest trading strategy. What I'm gonna do is pick up the previous resistance and make it to the recent support and wait for the breakout to produce entry signal. Also, I'm gonna be showing how SMA can actually help us to do the same thing. So this is the setup. Pick up the line tool and mark recent high and low on any time frame like 5 minutes or 15 minutes and let the price form a pullback pattern out of this range. This is what I meant. When the price is in the range, it is gonna go out and come back to retest previous range it broke through. And similarly, when the price turned into the trend, we wanna look for previous high and lows. So can you guess where the price is gonna go from here? Well, it is not that important. Remember, we are looking for a pattern. We will be using five minutes chart to mark the range and one minute for the entry. And here is the price moment. It broke through the support, so we're gonna enter short here. Our entry will be just below the support line and we're gonna place a stop loss above the recent swing and we're gonna target one to two ratio. This one is looking a winner, but here is the magic thing. For the next trade, first, we're gonna change the time back to five minutes chart and we're gonna pick the previous resistance line and use it to mark recently created support. And we're gonna wait for the price to break out. Now switch to one minute chart for the entry. Looks like the price is gonna go without tapping to our entry. It tapped and it is working, but this is not a coincidence because the losing trades gonna look like this. Over here, the price didn't come out of support line and it actually went to the resistance, signaling a possible reversal. However, instead of drawing this manual line, we can get the help of these modified SMAs. And for the SMAs to work, you also need five and one minute chart. So on the current chart, price is gone through the lower blue SMA. Now we're gonna switch to one minute chart and enter the short trade on a pullback. But to be a valid entry, the price must exit out of the blue SMA on a one minute chart. You can also try one to three ratio or one to four, but for the sake of this video, I'm just keeping one to two. On to the next trade. The price spiked out of the blue line, so it is a valid entry. We know for the fact the price will never remain in one direction. It is highly likely to reverse and in that process you're gonna lose some trades and this is how it is going to look like. If the price has touched the wide SMA, we do not take the trades. So basically when the price is stay within the white and blue SMA, we do not take trades. And for the bullish signal, we have to wait for the price to go above the wide SMA and return back into it and exit again. Only then it will be a valid long entry signal. So this extra confirmation of exiting again out of these SMA ranges shows the presence of momentum, which actually means an increase in the probability of winning a trade. To set these SMAs, go to Indicators tab and search Moving Average. We're gonna need this one, Moving Average Simple. Click this twice. Go to First SMS setting and under the Inputs tab, change the source to High. And then go to Styles tab and change the color to white. We will need to change the other SMA with low source. However, we also need to change the time frame to five minutes. And we're gonna do this for the wide SMA as well. So by setting the time frame to five minutes, you don't have to actually switch between the charts and you can easily enter the trades while staying in a one minute chart. 